I've had a, vid a video cut out. Um, right now, once the, I didn't have enough battery actually on the second time. So, um, thank you guys for joining me as we join the meditation today. And breathe in. I never, even in yoga class, I never used to share these. And then I started, and here we go. It's for the parasympathetic nervous system. Um, I was reading Humming. Um, it can also move you into um, sympathetic, fight or flight, to parasympathetic, or rest and digest. I was looking up with this. I've been to yoga and I was, I'm new to sharing meditation somewhat. And I, I almost felt like to say namaste, then read on that on, you know, debate was saying that and think of that. And um, so I you know, thank you for being here. Um, living why so aloha. Um, I, I <laughs> that one I feel more comfortable using, but I can do namaste as well. Namaste. didn't look up an article on, I think it was NPR with this though, can write that as well. Um, I think when the video came out, cut out on the last video, that's what I was talking about. And um, yeah, I hope these help people. Um, if you are curious about more about me, my journey, um, session information, um, bellenergetics at gmail.com, B-E-L-L-E-N-E-R-G-E-T-I-C-S at gmail.com. And um, thank you guys for meditating with me and um, you know sampling some energy work. And I hope I feel refreshed after this. It's like I, I've noticed I've been in my head more and then I, I go drop into the, my center, drop into my heart and go to that place of thoughtlessness. And it's, it's amazing how I, it feels like I'm, I'm you know, slowing down my system to go into that, that um, meditative state. I even, I wonder about writing altered state with some of the energy work I do and I have written that too. And just, and then after I've done that, then bringing yourself, it's like, it's like in, in Westworld when they're, they're telling the people like, bring yourself back online. If you've seen Westworld. <laughs> um, but it's, I was thinking of this one. I was like, where is that from? I, um, but that's what it feels like. Almost like just, bringing my energy and my thoughts really down to like a still place. And um, my my former therapist and meditation teacher, I believe she was saying, um, Amita Schmidt on Maui. Um, if you wanna, you can wanna look her up, she has great meditations online. Um, and she was saying it only takes 20 seconds to get into a meditative state. I think depending on where you're at with it, but in 20 seconds, you can just, we're gonna time it now, so.
to absorb from that place too or go into a, a certain consciousness in my experience. Um, I had a spiritual experience with um, through a channel, um, someone channeling Joel Kuhl, so an ascended master um, from theosophy and then someone he called his his boss. I've talked about this, I talk about this in places, um, like a Christ-like um, entity or being and I, I don't remember but I remember the like I don't remember what I think was the hour of conversation I had um, so it was in an altered state or trans somehow um, you know I, this is channeling when I first well I am a channel fully conscious and then having experience with a, a channel being Joel Cool um, and getting information about my life and, and talking and then at a, another level um, just saw like glowing gold light and remember I was talking but I have, don't remember what I was saying it must have been like an hour but I go to that place in my consciousness or just did and then try to like absorb and emanate that and remember that um, I've heard about people having experiences on ayahuasca of like similar I think warm light light and just like bliss and happiness and like sublime peace and I want to say that's similar um, but I, I haven't tried I haven't taken ayahuasca so I, I don't know um, Okay, and bring that energy down the chakra column. Still feeling it, feeling that in my seat bones and bring the energy up through my spine too. Back in there. And auric field, gold light, sealing it with that. And then white light. And there's different, um, energetic shapes people use in their energy fields. So the Merkaba is one of them. Um, and you can imagine yourself like spinning in that. I think to, to travel astrally, people do. But you can also imagine that at your core. There's a there's different, um, different shapes and different techniques people use. So look up like violet flame. Um, there's the ink and bands of power of meditation. Um, and connecting to the earth and seeing like green light and then drawing up from the earth. And that and recharging with that. You can see like a Align green energy with that, and um, and then just white light, violet flame, darker. So it's like a violet column of light. Um, sometimes for me, what works too in this particular area is like a silver ball that I drop through my central column. Something with that for me gold ball of energy in your energy field with white light gold tuning into divine love for you and bring that through your energy something greater source whatever that is for you both energy strong and drawing the legs feet if you up through the nervous system. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for joining me. Have a great rest of your day. Um, again, I'm gonna link, did I, I'm,
I'm actually wondering if I just said this on here already. With Namaste, looking at that article and looking at, thinking about it, but I will say that one on here and link the article. So, um, and newer to that one, Aloha feels better to me from Hawaii, but Namaste, used to that one and enjoy. I'm thinking of that. And for me, that's going into, okay, that, that Christ source energy. Um, for me, non-denominational, more Christ consciousness. Um, transcending that. Thank you. Thanks for this one again. And peace be with you as well. And thank you. Have a great rest of your day.